S A H S A H S A H. I don't know. I'm, I'm really going to try to turn that into a thing. And you know what? I think with your help, it could actually work. Welcome to another edition of the WCVU WGLT Stay at Home S-A-H concert presented by Seth Q. I'm Highway 309 host Ariel and I'm back to lead you on this awesome journey that we have been doing where we know that music will continue to bring us together even when we're apart and it's just gonna keep going on like that especially tonight with our great musical acts that are showing up and showing out with some great music music for you tonight. Get ready for the music of Taurus. There's Cole Hollow, Kevin and Cassie Hart and their whole family. Also, Matthew Curry. And first up, we have the Harvest Sons. Harvest Sons is a Peoria-based Americana group that pulls just as much from classic rock as they do from Americana. Their set list may pull from Neil Young, Tom Petty, uh, Bob Seger, John Prine, but they also may pull from Americana's top acts like Tyler Childers or Jason Isbell or the Lumineers. Frontman Seth Coquit told WGLT last year the band embraces the moniker Rust Belt State of Mind, and it comes from the road trips and destinations outside of the Midwest. Coquit said he feels differently when he is outside of his home area of Peoria, which he feels is the heart of the Rust Belt. The band members in the Harvest Brothers include Seth Coquit, Nick Graffelman, there's Daniel Watkins, Nathan Cohen, and Nathan Glazer. Here they are right now with the song 300.
Be sure to check out more about the Harvest Sons by following them on Facebook and Instagram and also going to their website. So Turis means journey or trip in Irish. Turis is also a Peoria-based Irish band. I want to introduce you to them. We have Mike Bergstrom on the guitar. There's also Anne Marie Brenton on lead vocals, Jeff Calhoun on the mandolin and harmony vocals. There's also Rose Wright on the flute and Lori Gannon. She's on the Balron and whistle. The tune you're about to hear is called Cold Frosty Morning and the song is John Riley. It's the true story of Captain John Riley and other Irish soldiers who left the American army and fought for Santa Anna in the St. Patrick's Brigade in the Battle of Churubusco. Here is the band Turris. The song is called John Riley. Adventure calls 
and some men run and this is their sad story. Some get drunk on demon rum, some get drunk on glory. Adventure calls and some men run and this is their sad story. Some get drunk on demon rum, some get drunk on demon rum, some get drunk on demon rum. You can find more information about tourists on their website and on Facebook. All right, let's talk about some psychedelic blues and some hard rock. Up next for you, you need to get to know Peoria-based trio Cole Hollow. There's Austin Smith on lead vocals and guitar. There is Alex Heisel on the bass guitar and vocals and Zach Crawl on the drums. Tonight, they have a WCVUWGLT stay-at-home concert world premiere for their song Hide the Bum. Before we get to that premiere, John Norton is here to talk with frontman Austin Smith, who's going to give us a peek behind the song. First of all, Austin, welcome to the Stay at Home concert. It's great to have you on board. Thank you very much. It is, uh, it is great to be part of something that is, um, you know, so unique in a time where um, we're not able to do very much as entertainers. So you have a great story about your song Vices being picked up by the NFL's Carolina Panthers, and they use that as one of their songs. Can you tell us what happened? So what happened with that was uh, one of the members of the band um, at the time, basically somebody that they were related to fairly closely. Um, he is the game day DJ for the Carolina Panthers. Um, from there, he just kind of heard the beginning of the song. I guess he was like, hey, this would make a really cool song to use for some of the kickoffs. So uh, one day um, I was driving down the road on my way to get lunch and I got a video of our song being played in a stadium in front of who knows how many people at the uh, Carolina Panthers and Seahawks game. I think that was at the very, very end of 2018, if not the beginning of 2019. You, you have a marketing blueprint for a lot of what you do already when you're releasing your music. And obviously, this pandemic has put a little wrench into that. Let's talk about the change in calculus that you've had to make releasing even just this song. Last time we, we our, our debut, we released an album. We just put out nine songs. There was no teaser. We just said, hey, here's our album. Take it and enjoy it. Um, and then after that album, we kind of realized, hey, you know, we want to we want to experiment more with our sound. Um, you know, we want to put out a few singles before we drop another album. And that's kind of what we're working on right now. And uh, the the song we just dropped, Hide the Bones, is a very, very, um, it's kind of a pivotal moment for Cole Hollow because a lot of things within the band changed as we're releasing this song. And then all of a sudden we release the song and we have a video coming for it. And it's just... Uh, and then boom, now we're in the studio. We're recording two more songs that are just, it, it seems like every time we're in the studio, um, we learn and we grow and we become a better band in many ways. And also our friendship tightens. And that's very, very cool. Okay, so you've got an album coming down the road, maybe a couple of other songs after Hide the Bones, but that's the song we're going to play right now. Before we get to the video of the song, can you give us some really quick background on the song itself, Hide the Bones? Uh, the song, it kind of just came together. Um, I had been, been listening to, uh, a really, really good record, um, Feral Roots by Rival Sons. I was really inspired by the guitar tones and, um, you know, as a guitar player, that's really important to me because, you know, arguably the most important part of any song is the drums and the bass. That is the canvas. That is the canvas of the painting and your guitar and your vocals are the paint. And for me, it's really, really important to have that perfect sound.
Thank you so much to Cole Hollow for giving us a world premiere of their song, Hide the Bones. If you want more information about the band, be sure to go to their website. It's time that you meet some fixtures on the regional music scene. It's time that you meet Kevin and Cassie Hart, who are definitely some of the finest jazz musicians in the area. Kevin specializes in the vibraphone, though he also plays the piano and drums, among many other instruments, while Cassie is a freelance writer by day and a jazz musician by night, and her specialty is the saxophone. Coming up, we have a premiere of their song on the trail, which actually includes their three children. So, you know, we thought it'd be fun to talk with them. So we brought in a WGLT reporter in training, Alice Denham, to get on their level. She's the daughter of WGLT's very own Ryan Denham. She's going to be talking with Allie and Wesley about making music with their parents. Is it fun to do music as a family? Um, I'll go for a yes. <laughs> uh, sometimes for me, because when, well, my dad always says that it's only going to take like 10 minutes or something, but they, they always mess up. <laughs> yeah. And it takes way longer than they said. What's your favorite kind of music to listen to? Maybe like jazz, like smooth jazz or something, kind of like that. That's always fun to listen to. What's your favorite kind of, mu of music to listen to, Alan? I like instrumental music, but I also like pop music. I like, I like pop music too, Alan. We've all been stuck at home because of the coronavirus. What has it been like for you and your family? We've just been like playing, just like playing outside and stuff. There's this cool over patch, um, like in the neighbor's yard at the other side of the sidewalk that I always like to look for four leaf clovers in, and I've been finding some. So I like looking for four leaf clovers. Yeah, I, I found an eight leaf clover. Ali, what do you like to do in the coronavirus? What has it been like for you? It's been interesting because I can't see anybody besides my family. Okay. When this is all over, I mean like the coronavirus, um, and we can go places again, where do you want to go first? Um, I don't know. Maybe like um, out to two or something. I kind of like that place. Or maybe I like like that too, but they also like Sky Zone, Allie. Yeah. What do you want to do? The what? What do you want to do when the coronavirus is over? I want to play with my friends, and I want to go to a place called Star Rock. Oh yeah, and Iowa City. What is the song you're about to show us? Um, it's called On the Trail. What was it like to make the video? How long did it take? Um, I don't know. It took like a few. It took like a few days to like um, practice, like practice to make the end to like practice so we would get like better and better at the instruments that we're playing for the video, so we don't like mess up or anything. Now let's hear your song on the trail. From Ke Kevin and Cassie Harden family. Keep on music and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.
You gotta love a musical family. A big thank you is going out to the Heart family. And if you want more information about the Hearts, be sure to find that on their websites and on their Facebook. Now, before we get to our final act of the night, as you know, we have been raising money during our spring virtual fund drive, and we've been doing this for the past few weeks now, and we have some thank yous to share. We want to thank everyone who's contributed thus far, and a big shout out is going to some very special people who have contributed very generously, including John and Marilyn Fries. There's also Paul and Carolyn Jar and Dennis Killian for WGLT. And for WCVU, there's Eugene and Kristen Johnston. You can still help WCVU and WGLT meet our fun drive goals so we can continue the news, the music, and the programming that you love from your public radio station. Contribute now on our websites. So did you hear the story about the virtuosity of the guitar player who wasn't even 10 yet? If you are a longtime Central Illinois music fan, you have heard all about him. He is a Bloomington native. He's open for the likes of the Doobie Brothers, the Steve Miller Band, and Peter Frampton. And I actually rode an elevator with him once. I'm talking about the one and only Matthew Curry. And you know what? He still embraces the blues, even though his music is kind of veering off to Americana and Roots Rock, which you can definitely here on his latest album called Open Road, which he released last December. With the help of his bandmates Mike Nellis on the rhythm guitar, there is Tim Brickner on the bass, and those two guys are actually Peoria natives, and you can't forget about Francis Valentino on the drums. You are about to hear their song On My Way, which Curry actually used his adopted hometown of Nashville as the backdrop.
get to know more about Matthew Curry by going on his website and following him on social media. And just like that, it's a wrap on volume four of the WCVU WGLT Stay at Home Concert Series presented by Seth Q. We appreciate all of you who have been on this journey of sharing music and community togetherness, even though we are apart. Please support tonight's music and all local music and also please donate to WCBU and WGLT in order for us to keep our journalists out there on the beat. It is critical that you, you know, make a donation. We want to be there with all the breaking news as this pandemic develops. Please go to our websites to make a contribution. We will see you in two weeks for our grand finale. And until then, stay home, stay safe. And we will see you next time. Thank you.